So this is an opportunity for us to add or subtract, and basically what that means is we need to find uh, the like term and combine like terms. So I like to draw little shapes around things. I need to move this so I can have a little more room to work. Okay, um, so I am going to find all of the biggest exponents. So I see that x cubed is the biggest one. So I'm going to find all my x cubes. And I'm going to combine those. So I have 1x cubed here and I have 2x cubed here. So that gives me a total of 3x cubed. And now I'm going to locate uh, my x squares. So I've got 4x squares there. And I don't look, it doesn't look I have any else. So plus 4x squared. And let's look for some other like terms. Let's find my x's. So I have 3x here. I have negative 4x here. So those are going to combine to give me negative x. And then looking at my integers, I have a negative 5 here and a positive 8 here. So those are going to combine to give me a positive 3. All right, so looking at this one, notice this one's a little different because there's a subtraction sign here. So what that means is we're going to distribute negative 1 onto all three terms or change the sign of everything. So I'm just going to rewrite uh, this term here. And then negative times 4x is going to give us a negative 4x. And negative times negative 5 is going to give us a positive 5 and that turns into negative 3x squared. So now I'm going to find all of my like terms. So I see here I have x squared, I have 2x squares here, and I have negative 3x squares here. So, yeah, just ignore that, we'll do that one in a minute. Okay, so those are gonna combine to give me negative x squares, negative 1x squares, because negative 3 plus positive 2 gives me negative 1. And then I'm going to look for my x's. They all live in Texas, right? <laughs> Let's draw a ghost around that one. Why not? Looks like a little Pac-Man. Okay. So I have, oh, I made a mistake here. Look at what I did. I needed to include that negative sign in my little ghost. Um, so I have a negative 2x and a negative 4x, and those are going to combine to give me negative 6x. And now let's look for other like terms. Um, I have this positive 5 and this positive 3, and they're going to combine to give me 8. Alright, so this one, notice I have some, multi I have some addition and I have some attract, subtraction, so I'm going to need to distribute this negative to all of those terms. So I'm just going to rewrite the problem, take everything out of the parentheses. So we're going to add it all together. So that turns into a negative 4x squared. And that's going to turn that into a negative 6x. And that will turn that into a positive 9, because two negatives make a positive. All right, so let's find our like terms. Um, I see a 5x squared here, a negative 4x squared here, and those are going to combine to give me 1x squared. And let's look for some more like terms. All right, I see I have a positive 2x here, and a negative 6x here. Those are going to combine to give me negative 4x. And look for more like terms. All right, I notice I have a positive 3 here, a negative 4 here, and a positive 9. So 9 minus 4 would give me 5, and plus 3 would give me 8. 